This day before Thanksgiving is one of the busiest nights of the year for bars and restaurants. But it's not just restaurants who have taken notice. Police have as well. News 8's Josh Scheinblum explains. Parking lots across Connecticut are filling up fast as people head out to local bars to enjoy the day before Thanksgiving. However, police have a warning for anyone who's considering driving under the influence. The drinks are flowing at bars and most it's safe to say are merry. The night before Thanksgiving is one of the most popular times of the year to head out for a cold adult beverage. Hanging out with all your friends and just having a good time, getting ready for the bird tomorrow. At some establishments, like here at the Hard Hat Cafe in North Haven, they get so busy in the evening, workers there tell us the day rivals that of New Year's Eve. We uh, just double up on staff and get ready to enjoy it with them. And with so many people indulging in alcohol, staff here say they're on the lookout for those who may be too inebriated to drive. Christine Wells is a bartender at Hard Hat. You know, you feed them, you give them water, you make sure that a friend or somebody that's out with them takes them home. It's, it's really what it's all about, people looking after each other. They're not the only ones watching out for people who might mix driving with alcohol. We are anticipating, of course, there will be some DUI arrests. Police across Connecticut are stepping up DUI enforcement. This was the scene earlier today in Hartford, where a checkpoint was set up in the area of Brainerd Road. But even if you're not planning on heading into the capital city, authorities say, when in doubt, it's best to get someone else to drive if you think you've had too much to drink. Today, tomorrow, there are going to be extra troopers out on patrol, uh, roving patrols as we call them, and they will be keeping their eyes, eyes out for, like I said before, distracted drivers, reckless drivers, uh, drivers operating under the influence. And a reminder to anyone considering getting behind the wheel of a car after drinking, Connecticut residents who are charged with driving under the influence, who had their license suspended, will be required to have a breathalyzer in their vehicle. For now, we're in North Haven, Josh Scheinblum, News 8.